Believe it or not, it's the internet's latest fad, a website called Chat Roulette. It pairs you up with a random stranger and allows you to have video chat with them. Of course, quarter of the time you end up talking to idiots like this guy. Other times you end up with someone who feels the desire to point his camera at his dick as he jerks his gherkin. Luckily, you can just hit the next button in situations like those, and the site will pair you up with someone new. But the site's real appeal comes from when you find yourself having an actual conversation with someone. It's never anything too serious, you know, hi, ASL, how are ya, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, I've heard of people claiming to have made some deep connections with the random strangers they've been paired up with. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that only happens to a very small fraction of the people who use chat roulette every day. Hi. Apparently, I'm one of those people. Hi. She was definitely a 60-year-old man pretending to be an attractive no, girl. No, Randy, no. Okay. I saw a webcam on chat roulette, so, you know, you actually see the person that you're talking to. But, yeah, she was, like, really pretty in the girl next door kind of way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I pretty much fell in love with her right away. You know, it's nice to finally see something that's not a dick on here. Sounds like marriage material to me. That's your future wife, Josh, right there. Hey, we talked for, like, two hours. Pretty good for a site where the average conversation probably lasts, like, what, 90 seconds? Great. So, does this internet girlfriend have a name? Emily. But, like... I wish I had the chance to find out where she's from. I mean, for all we know, she'd be on the other side of the whole world. On the other hand, though, she wasn't speaking Chinese or anything. So I'd like to at least hope that she's on the same continent as us. Always good to be optimistic, Josh. So, did you at least get her email address or something? Well... Oh crap, the battery on my laptop's about to die. Oh no! Can't you just plug it in? Yeah, but the charge is in the other room, so I'm gonna go get it and... Hopefully, my computer doesn't die in the meanwhile. Wait! Um, what if it does die? How will I ever find you again? Well... It'll be like in the movie Serendipity. What? You haven't seen Serendipity? Can't say that I have. Okay, well you have to because it's like one of my favorite movies, so go rent it or something. <laughs> Maybe. But what, what does this have to do with us? Well, basically, if we're meant to meet again, then we will. I mean, it's not entirely impossible. Well, like... Pretty much. There's, what, 30,000 people on this site? Uh, well, I guess we'll have to... So there's absolutely no way of ever finding this girl again? I spent the rest of the night trying to find her again. Getting <coughs> paired up with the same person doesn't happen very often. Whatever, you should just stop worrying about it, and you should start prepping yourself for your date on Saturday. Wait, what date on Saturday? There's this girl in the my humanities class, and I told her I would help her find a new interesting guy. Well, like, you know, I was trying to hold off from dating until I saw Emily again. Emily? Come on, the chat roulette girl! Oh my god, Josh, give it up! You're never gonna find her! It's too unlikely! Look, I gotta get going. I'll text you the details about the date later. And if you want your balls to remain on the inside of a scrotum, I would show up. Oh, Randy. You give me confidence that one day you'll be a great mother. So I'm looking for this girl, her name's Emily, she's short, she's got brown hair, she's in a room, and I'm pretty sure the wall behind her was beige. To um, Serendipity, that movie with John Cusack, don't really know what she sees in it. Relies a lot on fate, wasn't that impressed, plus the story's really not that original. Like, you know, two people meeting once by chance, 
maybe they're never gonna meet again. I just feel like everyone's done it already. Randy? Josh? What are you doing on here? I just wanted to check out this chat roulette thing, you know, to see if I can make a good connection like you did. Wow, Randy. Never took you for the type of person who has a soul. So any luck? No, you were right about this site. Nothing but douchebags and dicks. If you see her, let her know that someone's looking for her. Stacy? Uh, sorry I'm late. I probably should have left the house a little earlier. It's alright though. For future reference, it's polite to arrive at least 15 minutes before the time you said you would be meeting your date. So Randy tells me that you're recently out of a relationship. That's unfortunate. <laughs> she told you that? <laughs> she should mind her own business. I guess. <laughs> but if she kept to herself, we probably wouldn't be on this date. I guess you have a point. So, you ever been on chat roulette? Ew, <laughs> that side is full of nothing but creepy guys and skanky girls. Honestly, I have no respect for anybody who spends more than three minutes on that thing. Actually, I spent like the last three days on it, so. Oh. Okay, listen, Stacy. I can already tell this isn't really gonna work out. In all honesty, I didn't really want to come out on this date in the first place. Randy kind of forced me into it. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Would you like me to take your order now, or should I wait for your date to come back? I don't think he's coming back. He just walked out on me. Oh, I don't think you should get too hung up on him. He showed up, then he ditched you. The guy's obviously an asshole. Aren't they all? No. I mean, there are a lot of dicks out there, but I think there are also a lot of nice guys too. You just have to run into the right one.